Welcome to Anime with Annie. Today's recap will be on the Classroom of the Elite series from episodes 1 to 12, so make sure to stay tuned until the end. That said, let's have a closer look. Episode 1 At the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School, a facility set up by the government to educate the top pupils, Kiyotaka Nojoki enrolls in Class 1D. Seicha Bashir, the homeroom teacher for Class D, describes the point system as money, with each student receiving a monthly budget of 100,000 points to spend at neighborhood stores, with one point equaling one yen. She cautions the people that they will be evaluated on their merits. As he uses his points wisely to traverse the system, Kiyotaka meets the outgoing Kikyo Shuta and makes an effort to mend fences with his self-centered classmate, Suzun Horikita. Kiyotaka covertly invited them and two other students to a cafeteria in an effort to make Kushida and Suzunu friends. Suzunu, however, recognizes the scheme and departs. Kiyotaka is perplexed as the majority of Class D lavishly spends their points and tardies on April 30th without getting in trouble. The Class D pupils are shocked on May 1st to learn that they did not get any allowance. Jebashir explains it is contingent upon merit. After failing to study, the class receives zero points for a whole month. Episode 2 Chebashir describes how the school's structure operates. The four first-year classes are rated according to merit, and Class D has the chance to advance to Class C by doing well on tests. She issues a warning that anyone who fails the exam under the existing circumstances will be expelled. Everyone attends class frequently since they are aware of the system, except Kensudo, Kenji Aik, and Haruki Yamuchi. Suzun asks Kyotaka to invite the lads to join her study group at the library after they have a discussion about their issues. Due to Suzun's ego, Kyotaka and Koshida are unable to extend an invitation. Sudo makes it clear to everyone that he wants to play basketball but shows little interest in doing his homework. That evening, Kiyotaka overheard Suzun speaking to her brother, Minabu, who is also the president of the student council. He threatens her because they differ on an erroneous notion of an autonomous solitude. After Kiyotaka steps in, Minabu confesses that he received a perfect score in each exam and inquires whether it was a coincidence. When the midterm tests are administered, Glass D as a whole does quite well ranking among the first years of schools in various areas. Episode 3 Everyone in Class D passed the most recent exam except Sudo, who scored just one point short of passing. The grades came out because Kiyotaka paid an underclassman 15,000 points three days earlier to purchase test materials. He clarifies that none of this violates any school regulations. Later, Kiyotaka finds Shabashira questioning her about equality. She responds that it doesn't and Kiyotaka concurs. To allow Sudo to remain in class, Kiyotaka and Suzun use their points to raise the exam score by one point. Unintentionally leaving her phone behind, Kushida is given it back by Kiyotaka. He eventually learns about her vindictive, hateful, and irritable nature. Kiyotaka is urged by Kushida to keep it a secret should she accuse him of raping her. Episode 4 The point distribution for Class D will be postponed on July 1st owing to an incident that included Sudo and three Class C basketball players the day before. However, because of his bad reputation, he'll be held accountable unless the class can get a witness to exonerate him by hearing the following week, in which case the class will not receive any points for the month. The three classy assailants ask their classmate Kekarion to assault them in secret in an effort to sway the outcome of the case in their favor. The Peoples and Class D publish posts on social media requesting witnesses to the event with the assistance of Class B. Suzun informs Kiyotaka and the others that Ari Sakura was present and captured the incident on video. That evening, Kiyotaka and Koshida have a discussion on the truth. If there is no proof and one of the suspects is a killer and the other is a law-abiding citizen, people are more inclined to trust the law-abiding citizen, even if they are guilty. The following day, Sakura is asked for the proof and unintentionally drops the camera. Episode 5 At the electronics store, Sakura, Kiyotaka, and Koshida examine the camera that is still under warranty. Sakura is a popular online model right now. Both classes testified during the tribunal presided over by Nebua, blaming one another for starting the conflict. The initial decision favors Class C. Suzun remains mute until Kiyotaka reminds her to speak. Suzun inquires as to the details of the battle, pointing out that it is very impossible for Sudo to be solely to blame for injuries of that magnitude in a 3-1 to -one fight. She uses Sakura as a witness to show that she was there when she took pictures of the fight that was occurring in the background during a photo session. But the proof simply establishes her presence. It does not absolve Sudo of any crime. A compromise suspension for Sudo of two weeks in each of the Class 3 C pupils of one week was put forth by Sakagami, the homeroom teacher of Class C, but was rejected by Class D. Menabu concludes the session after recognizing that one side is obviously lying, and declares that barring any admissions over new evidence, he will make his judgment the next day. Episode 6 Sakura finds the photos in a mailbox as she returns to the dorm. 
to take advantage of the decision-making delay made possible by the photo, Kiyotaka and Suzun set up a trap at the stairwell. Kushida sends the three classy pupils a false message telling them to meet her in the special annex, alluring them to the stairs, where Kiyotaka and Suzun are waiting, and Honami and Chinose has set up security cameras. This helps trick the classy students into believing that there is no use in pursuing the complaint, and that the three may be expelled for spreading a malicious lie that had an adverse effect on the school. After that, Shizuku, the alter ego of the electronic shop clerk and a devoted user of the internet, assaults Sakura. But Kiyotaka and Ichinos come to her rescue and use the tracking function on their phones and the security cameras to detain the clerk. Suzuna is informed by Chabashira that Kiyotaka is one of the school's defectives, and that Class D is where they are housed. Menabu tries to get Kiyotaka to join the student council, but he rejects it, and gives Suzuna the glory for handling the situation. Suzuna and Kiyotaka intend to assist the others in getting into Class A. Episode 7 Kiyotaka extends Suzuna an invitation to the pool while she spends the summer studying in her dorm room. Class D students Kiyotaka, Sudo, Aik, and Amochiya meet with operation manager Hideo Sotomura last night to plan how they would snoop on the women in the locker rooms. Sotomura communicates with the boys through hand signals and transceivers as they move, keeping an eye on them from the general storage. Yamatui, who has invited everyone, secretly puts the cameras on while pretending to close the women's restroom for cleaning. Aik runs into the inside because of his issues. While Ike is inside, Ryon and the students from Class C approach the changing area. Sudo, who requires assistance leaving the room, keeps Yurin from entering in order to buy some time before the Class A youngsters show up and start fighting. Minabu reminds everyone that as long as they are on school property, they will still face judgment. Sotomura alerts Kiyotaka to the issue and Suzun, who is stationed on a diving platform, predicts that Class D will eventually turn into Class A. Suzun grabs the SD cards from the cameras to thwart the plan while the others are preoccupied, allowing Ike to leave the changing room covertly. Suzuna is informed by Kiyotaka that he chose her above the other students out of concern that they might have done it behind his back. Episode 8 For a class tour, all first-year students board a luxurious cruise ship together. Kiyotaka is told by Chabashir that an unnamed man called the school and asked to be discharged. Chabashir offers to take his place so he can attend Class A. She offers to deport him and take away his freedom if he refuses, but he refuses, suspecting she might be trying to manipulate him. Later, Kiyotaka and Suzuna discuss the trip's destination. He confides in her that he believes the school is taking them to a boarding house on an island it owns for another reason than what he originally thought. Regarding the installation of the security cameras, Ryun tries to mislead Suzun. Miyobuki's efforts to get in touch with Yen while she is a Class C member. Suzun suggests that Class C may be able to internally collapse. Sakagani makes plans in the background as she conducts research with other pupils. Later, Sakura asks Yotaka out, but when he shows up, she decides against it. Sakura feels humiliated when she sees Kushida and leaves. When Kushida resumes her irate demeanor, she prevents Kiyotaka from leaving. He acknowledges her assertion that she could tell he was wary of her. Kushida acknowledges that being alone makes her feel lonely before returning to her cheery approach. The next day, the school informs every student of the excursion's precise aim. For a week, they are isolated on an island. They have to pass a test on survival. Episode 9 From the instructions, Sosuke Hirata talks about how the survival test works. The remaining test points can be changed into class points at the conclusion of the week. The class receives 300 test points to use on food and other luxuries. Test points are deducted from a class when there are accidents, environmental harm, missing roll calls, or aggressive acts committed against other classes. Class D chooses to persevere while the girls feel the need for a portable restroom and prefer to save up points. Kiyotaka is partnered with Sakura and Rosuke Konoji after the gang splits off to look for a campsite. Remembering what Chepashira said about possessing a spot, that only the designated class leader can do it and that each possession lasting for 8 hours earns the team one special test point that can only be exchanged for class points, Kiyotaka leaves Konichi while he and Sakura look for a spot to secure. Additionally, by wagering 50 test points, the class gets to guess who the leader of another class is. Koitika Sargari is searching for a seat when Kiyotaka finds him holding the leader card and conversing with classmate Yoshi Tosuka. Once more gathering class D sets their camp next to the river. Because she's dependable and blends in, Suzuna is chosen as the leader. As Kiyotaka, Yomishi, and Sakura are gathering firewood, Mio is hurt and Kushida decides to give her some fruit that the classmates found. The class decides how to spend their 180 points, which they must use to pay for two meals per day, a bathroom, a tent, and an additional 30 points for unforeseen occurrences. Koneji's withdrawal, which costs Class D 30 points because he is not as ill as he says, causes a setback for the group. Episode 10 Suzune and Kiyotaka travel to investigate the situation in other camps. The camp for Class B is situated closer to a waterfall and functions similar to the camp for Class D, but in a nicer area. The camp of Class A is in a well-secure cave. 
Suzun tries to sneak a peek but retreats when Tetsugaru sends for a security team and cautions her against doing so, since it may spark a conflict. Under Ryun's direction, Class Camp C is located on a beach where all points have already been used, and the group treats the exam like a vacation. Ryun took this action because they are aware that if they used up all their test points beforehand, they wouldn't be penalized. Miu is chastised by Ryun for disobeying him. Someone broke into the girls' tent that night in the dark and took the phone from Class D camp. Class D conducts additional reconnaissance to identify the class leaders on the fourth day. When Kiyotaka and Sakura run across Ichinozen camp Class C's, they find out that everyone had dropped out of the exam except for Mio. On the sixth day, Kagozira learns that her underwear was taken. Ike's luggage is searched by Class D, but Yamachu discovers it there. Kiyotaka accepts it, but the girls insist on being patted down. Hirata discovers Kiyotaka during the pat-down search, but claims he was unable to locate it. He later decides to take the underwear after speaking with him because Grozia is his girlfriend and he will face the fewest consequences for being the guilty party. Episode 11 The girls of Class E decide to fight the boys and girls camp as a result of the event involving the item theft, which causes confidence within the class to decrease. When Mio inquires about the thief's opinion, Kiyotaka tells her that Suda suspects her, while also saying that he believes her. Kiyotaka notices Suzune's sickness during the entire test as they are sitting by a campfire that evening. Suzune had been recuperating in her cabin throughout the cruise, but she was determined to tough it out. The next day, Class D prepares meals ahead of a storm. Kiyotaka asks Suzune to verify that the leader card Katsuguri was holding was genuine, as he was fishing in the river. He sees it, but he's still not convinced. Suzune throws Yamachu to the ground after he approaches her and smears mud on her hair. Someone took the leader card in secret and let Kiyotaka know while Suzune washed the mud out of her hair. Soon later, the survival test handbook is set on fire, which causes Class D to lose even more faith. Suzune fails to reclaim her keycard from Mio because she believes Mio did it since she's it from a different class, and no one else saw the altercation. Mio gives the card to the unidentified student. Episode 12 In reality, there were three levels of conspiracies at play, each of which refuted the one before it. Ryan and Katsugari were participating in the biggest plot. Ryan promised to collaborate with Class A, using his obvious spies to create strife and to make sure Katsugari could identify the leaders, in exchange for eventually providing ruined mountains of points back at school. But ultimately, Anna Kojoi's own strategy was successful. As it turned out, Anya Kojoi actually lured his opponents into a trap by exposing Ibuki's blatant betrayal. Ibuki was able to find all the information she needed thanks to Anjoki, who prevented her from being directly confronted or tried to stop her like Horikata did. Then, once Ibuki had supposedly completed her task, Anjoki utilized Horikata's deteriorating condition to compel a change in the group leadership. And Kojoi undermined C and A, by changing the leadership, leaving B alone, since in his words, their current partnership is more valuable to us. The brutality of Uncle Joey's strategy was a reflection of both his persona and the core principles of the classroom of the elite. The fact that Uncle Joey was willing to use his classmates' anguish and worry to further his own ambitions was a far more cunning strategy than either of the other candidates' games, and it clearly demonstrated how far off he really was from the group. Rikita may have finally perceived his actions as supporting her, but her own goals and affection for Uncle Joey probably distorted her perception at the time. In order to gain the trust of others, Kiyotaka tells Harata that she was responsible for class when D, after explaining to Suzume that she needed supporters. But Kiyotaka doesn't want anything to do with Suzume or anybody else in his class, since he just sees people as tools, and he will keep using and killing people as long as he wins in the end. And that concludes my recap for the classroom of the elite from season 1 of episodes 1 to 12. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, Anime with Annie, for more such exciting anime content and reviews. And please leave comments about what you thought of today's video. And remember, have an Annie-amazing day.